Need to do some firewall maintenance. Let's get started. What we're looking at here is my firewall, uh, the HP Slim Desktop. So this guy here on the bottom. It's an older Pentium 4 machine running Clear OS version 5.2 or 5.1, something like that. Uh, it's been in service for a couple of years, uh, just about three years actually. And I've been noticing lately that we've been having some uh, issues with my internet dropping. Um, we did some troubleshooting and I'm very very certain that the issue is with the firewall. Uh, I don't know if it's the firewall itself or one of the network cards or something else uh, but I do know that the problem is uh, happening at that box. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the machine out and uh, do a little troubleshooting and see what happens. I've gotten a lot of questions about my firewall so I figured now is a good time as any to uh, talk about it in a little bit more detail. Uh, like I mentioned before this is an older Pentium 4 machine with a couple of gigs of memory. Um, it's running clear OS version 5. I think it's 5.2. Um, it's been in service for a little while. Uh, I've got uh, three network uh, plugs or network jacks in the back so two of them are cards that I added. Uh, I actually added this guy. Uh, this is a Netgear GA311 gigabit card. Uh, there's two of these in here. And then of course the built-in network card that um, is on the motherboard. Uh, the one network card is of course the line in from my uh, uh, cable modem. Uh, I've got a line out that feeds uh, network or feeds internet to the my uh, home network here. And then the other uh, network jack that I'm not using is configured as a demilitarized zone. Uh, I thought way back when it would be an interesting thing to do but I never got around to doing it. Apologies if this is a little shaky. Uh, I've taken the camera off of the tripod so I can show you the inside of the computer here. Um, here on the left are my two network cards that I added and you'll notice that there is no um, front plate here. It's actually easier to see it this way. Now of course when I did get them originally they did have them uh, but there were no half height um, mounting plates that came with this so I just unscrewed them and installed them and because this is sitting in a rack there's no issue of uh, somebody bumping into it and there's uh, never had any problem with it um, putting it in like this one thing I did notice though uh, this capacitor right there uh, this is bulging and I have no idea if that's causing a problem uh, or causing the problem that I'm seeing here, but it's certainly not um, a good sign. What I am going to do is I'm going to replace this card here with this guy. It's the same model, so I'm hoping I'm not going to have any driver issues or configuration issues and uh, see if it works. Quick note on the troubleshooting that I did and how I came to figure out that the issue was somewhere in here and specifically with this card. Uh, I had two computers, my wife's PC and mine and I connected hers directly into the uh, cable box that I got from Time Warner so she had a straight connection uh, to the internet bypassing my firewall. Uh, I don't recommend that you do that but uh, for testing purposes we we did that and then I left my PC plugged in normally so it was uh, going through uh, the firewall and then out to the internet. And then we both jumped on um, uh, some online gaming uh, where we, you know, where the, the issue was pretty pronounced. And of course, we got to a point where, sure enough, uh, my network connection dropped, but she was working just fine. And we did this for um, maybe an hour or so. And every time that my connection would drop, she was, um, she was okay. So uh, to me, that said that there was an issue here. Now during that time, when the network connection would drop, I was still able to see this box. So I was able to go in and uh, navigate over to the admin webpage that ClearOS provides and be able to take a look at um, and log into the server just to take a look at like server logs and stuff while the internet connection was down. Uh, so to me that says that this card, which happens to be the, um, the outgoing card or, or the network uh, connector that I would be coming into uh, from the inside 
that this guy was okay. So I'm assuming, or at least I'm pointing a finger at this guy here, which is connecting out to the internet. So that's the card I'm going to replace, and uh, we'll see what happens. Troubleshooting isn't an exact science, and for the life of me, I could not get ClearOS to recognize the new network card. Uh, so what I ended up doing was pulling that um, card out entirely, and you can kind of see a nice little hole there, and you can actually see inside the case. And I reconfigured ClearOS to use what was configured as my DMZ, um, which was the onboard NIC. I reconfigured that to be my external facing uh, network card. So now, this guy here is plugged directly into my cable modem, and the uh, network card on the left that's got the green network cable plugged into it uh, is feeding the uh, home network and that's actually what it was doing before. So after doing that reconfiguration and testing it does seem like um, I can certainly get on the internet and that seems to work okay. So I'm gonna have to go and um, just observe it for a little while and see if I get the same performance. Uh, I think though because I do have that um, bulging capacitor on the motherboard, I'm probably going to replace this guy pretty soon. And I do have some time off at the moment, so I'm going to see if I can't get that done before I have to go back to work. At any rate, I think uh, for right now this part of the project is done. I'll keep an eye on it and see what happens. Well, that wraps it up for now. Uh, follow me on Twitter. You'll get updates on when uh, new videos are posted as well as some high quality tweets from me. And as always, thanks for watching. See you next time.